hi and welcome back to Eggy Fits. This is part three of the parquet job. As you can see, I finished gluing the field and putting it in. Now we're gonna go around the edge, cutting it back and doing the border to finish the job. Right, first we're gonna need a straight edge. Now this is a small straight edge, the plank from another job. And it's got a nice factory straight edge on it. So we place it up against the pencil marks that we've made. Make another pencil mark right on the corner there for the piece that's going towards the door. So we get a concavian blade and we score the tiles. You keep scoring through. I like to do three. Now we line it up against the, the doorway here. We keep checking those pencil lines that we remarked on top of the tiles. And again, we cut through it three times. Now the reason we haven't cut all the way through and we're just scoring and moving on and scoring is because this is a brand new blade. Now if we cut all the way through into the latex underneath, so the, the bits will come off, that's fine. But it's a brand new blade. I'm not gonna destroy you with every line I need to cut so what we do is we score as much as we can until the blade dulls and then we sacrifice it by going all the way through into the latex until it becomes unusable Now we've done quite a bit with this short straight edge. We need next to do this line all the way down. So we use a straight edge and we use some black tape on one side to hold it in place. Now this line actually does go and hit this architrave so the bar is not short enough to miss that so we have to put it up a bit and we put the tape on there and we even put our knee on it to make sure it stays in place. Now we're not going all the way are we because we've got to go into the door frames. So we mark them with a the pencil again. So when we come back the other way we can go up to the pencil. The tape really helps hold the straight edge in place. Now to the other side. And this is still with that same blade until it gets blunt. Now I do the same on this side. All 
the time checking to make sure that we're lining it up with the pencil marks that we've relocated on top of the tiles. Now, this blade, this glove, so we're going to use it to go over the tiles that we scored, go all the way through. Cut it all the way through and it kills the edge. Blade, but it gives you a nice straight edge. We use the back of the knife just to take the burr off. Now you can use sort of grooving cutters that they do sell this, but I don't use it. I actually use the back of my knife just to take the burr off. Keep using the same blade until it becomes too hard to cut, too blunt, which is pretty quick, really. See, it's getting harder and harder to cut them. A bit of the backing stayed on there. The burr is basically when you cut it, it lips up a little bit and it's quite sharp. So you want it to be sort of level with the edge of the factory edge of the tiles that we're going to use for the border. Now there is another trick you could use and that's using a heat gun to warm it up. So we get a heat gun. We put it on low and we move it along the line that's been scored. We keep moving it pretty quick because we just want to warm it up. We don't want to burn it. We don't want to melt it. And then we can cut for it. And it gets a bit easier. Again, taking the barrel off. And 
that bit's cooled down again, so you just give it another look over. Warm it up. Obviously it, it does depend on the weather outside and obviously the weather inside. If it's if it's a very warm house, you won't need to use the heat gun. It would be easy anyway because they do supple up with the heat. And you will have to acclimatise these tiles 24 hours before you install them so they get to the temperature of the house. And that is by basically getting them delivered before you install them and opening up the boxes and shuffling the tiles to get the air in between them. Now when you're finished cutting it all back, it should look like this. So you've got those nice straight lines, nice sharp crisp tiles cut all the way around. Now we get these tiles so this is going to be obviously a one plank perimeter border so we lay them off that nice straight line and we back mark all the tiles around the edge Now if you want to see an in-depth guide about how to cut around door frames then go to my channel, it's one about how to fit around obviously door frames and it's sort of the same principle. Always key to have a nice sh sharp blade. That blade was left over from cutting back the tiles. Now no kneecaps or legs were harmed in the videoing of this or the making of this video um, and I don't think I even cut my fingers most of the time I do. Now as you can see it does actually slip underneath this door frame a little bit because the architraves were slightly short. Just a little bit off.
and there she goes. She fits like a dream. Now this one's a nice straight cut. Now this next tile, I have to have a mitre in the corner because it's not a right angle. So I do this one first. I've just roughed it off so it doesn't actually matter about that piece on the end. It's only going to go up to the corner. So now I'm going to mark the corner. So I'm just going to use that, rough it off. corner and then I use this angled piece to go right into the corner there and then line it up with the corner of the field and that gives me my could mite uh, all the corners if you wanted, even the straight ones, but I always think that's a bit of a trap of uh, dirt. Some customers will ask you to do that, and that's fine. The customer's always right, apparently.
as I said, if you want a more in-depth guide of how to cut around these door frames, go to my channel, have a look for my other videos. I've got videos of how to cut 45s, all about prep. Just check it out. So I'll just move that one out of the way so I can put this one in. Right, now it fits, put the first one back down with the mitre and then we cut along that tile. And now it fits in perfect. So it's a nice right mire. And now you carry on putting your border all the way around the rest of it. And it should look something like this. Now this is all dry cut. Now the way I do my border is I run one length until it hits the wall, then I do the next length until it hits the wall. So it's sort of like chasing itself. But you can do it any way you want. Every fitter has its own way of doing it. So there's another mitre. All these pieces come out. So I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to glue it. After you pull them all out, we start to glue. So this is a trowel that I've cut in half so it fits in that space. It just makes it a lot easier spreading the cut down trowel. It's 
So you just spread it all the way around. I start from one side and I come back and go up against the tiles. get the glue right at the edge of the trowel. This can be a very, very mucky job. But when we're finished putting the tiles in, we go over it with a damp cloth, get all the excess glue off the tiles, because all that's going to do is attract dirt. So now it's all glued, we'll have to put them back in. Now we place them all around the edge in the vicinity of where they go. So we've just got to make sure we put the right ones back in. I just keep clearing the back off, make sure there's no little bits, any foreign bodies on the back. off any excess glue but we will go around with a damp cloth at the end make sure 
sure they're nice and tight. Now this would definitely need a clean up with a damp cloth and here we are, that's it, all complete, that's what it will look like once you put it all in and it's finished. New door bars in the doorways, the carpet's refitted around the bottom step and it's all cleaned up all the adhesive residues off. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.